All right, here in this video, I'm gonna show you how to basically add pictures to the widget bar. So once you log in, you'll see that you have the under appearance, you have widgets. Now, first, we need to choose some pictures. So basically what we'll do is open the website up in a new tab and we'll find some pictures. So here's an example of some pictures. So let's click on the pictures. And then what we'll do is we'll just grab the pictures and then add them to the website. So this, for example, is too big. So what we need to do is say grab that photo, save the image to the computer. We can call it whatever we want. Generally, you want to throw your keyword in here. So I'm going to call it pendant one. But you can call it whatever you want. And then you want keyword related and then desktop save. So when you come over to the to back in your members area, okay, you come back into the, the admin control panel and add a new post. So you're going to add a new post. And, and then what you're going to do is you're simply going to go like this. You're going to go and choose this box fourth over to the left. You're going to select files. You're going to select that pendant, okay, and it's going to pull it in. And you have the ability to name it. So if it's pendant, when you name it pendant, I usually copy it down here to the description like this. Just call, you know, pendant. Okay, you're gonna want keyword related. And then this is the link URL that you're gonna want it to go to. So if you want to take it over to the actual site and take it to the actual place to buy from, then you need to go over to the catalog. And you need to actually find the pendant. So go to keepsakes and jewelry, and that specific pendant was this one, I believe. So then you would copy the URL, come back here and paste it, and then that photo links to the members area. Okay, so now you have a visual con picture, and you have the code. You gotta grab the code, copy it, or cut it, come back down to widgets. Okay, so so far you, you haven't really done anything but, but generated code. And when you come down here to blog sidebar, and this is where you're going to add text. So you're gonna take the text and you're gonna put that in here. And the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to do a center code, which just looks like that. Center. And then you're going to paste the code in, and then you're going to put a close center. All right. That's the close for centering the pendant. And you can name the pendant. So the pendant is white bronze heart. So you could, you could call it white bronze heart or something like that. Whatever the keyword is, you put that in the title. And then you could automatically add paragraphs and click save. Now, what you're going to notice now is on the blog, when we refresh, you're going to notice that there's a new picture down here. See where the picture lies? White bronze heart, and that's the picture. Okay, so it's perfectly centered in this bar. And you're going to, what you're going to do is you're going to delete this, this widget. So you've got this widget now, and then you're going to delete this, and all you do is, all you do is drag it out. So you just boom. Drag it out over here and just let go. But since you're going to use that to get the other photos, I'm going to leave that there for you. Um, you really don't need it though. You can just go over here to the catalog, right click, save image as, and then go and add it. So that's a simple video on how to add pictures to the widget bar using Optimize Press because that's what we're using here. We're using Optimize Press to power the blog. And that's the first tutorial video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment on the YouTube channel video or below the YouTube, this YouTube video. Leave a comment with your questions and I'll be happy to answer them there.